So I got so excited now. My brother who works at a, he's an MD at a digital agency, just sent me this uh, app to have a look at. And this is pretty much the replacement of your WeTransfer, your Dropbox, the file sharing service, but with a, a massive, massive benefit to it all. And I'll share a little bit of that now with you. But this is the interface you rock up on and you can download the app onto your device and do it from the app also. So it's called wormhole.app um, and you drop your files over here. You can send files up to 10 gigs to people. Okay, it will stay on the server for 24 hours and then auto delete. And this is true end-to-end -end encryption. Not like your WeTransfers and Dropboxes that say it's encrypted. If it arrives on their servers, they have the keys to still unlock and see what that data is. This is almost like your BitTorrent. It's peer-to-peer. -peer. It uses a server when the files are, as you read here, the files uh, are up to 5 gigs. So anything below 5 gigs, the wormhole server will store it there for you for 24 hours so that your link will become active. But for files that are bigger than 5 gigs, so bigger than 5 gigs and of course uh, under 10 gigs, those will move peer to peer. So you'll get a link immediately once it's bigger than 5 gigs. You get a link probably, I mean, you'll see it now. You get a link almost immediately and you can send it to the person. File bigger than 5 gigs, the person will click on there and it will go peer to peer and stream live across the internet to that person. The cool thing is it's not unnecessarily clogging up server space by people sending 10 gig files. So um, that's how it works there. And I'm going to just hop over here to why we built this. So you can get a bit of a background to it because I think it's quite essential to see the mindset behind all of this. The first part here, they are just talking about uh, the, the Dropbox encryption, exactly what I spoke about earlier and WeTransfer, that they actually have the key to access the files that are on their server. Very different to what Wormold is doing. Wormold is a project by two people who are building it on a kind of the peer-to-peer -peer BitTorrent kind of concept, but it's seamless to the end user. I was an ardent user of WeTransfer. In the late period now of me using WeTransfer, it required you to get a file or a one-time code sent to your email for you to validate it and then you could send the file. So for new people, it was a bit complicated and I stopped using it because the barrier to entry was just becoming unnecessarily complicated. Enter wormhole.app and their philosophy was that they were bringing a file um, sharing option for you to share files with other people but they their goal was to make it 10 times better than the conventional thing and i think they've achieved that mainly the fact that when you start to upload you already have a link to share with persons while the file is still busy uploading so you can read through these things i'm going to just go to this year um, the number one goal is speed you should be able to get a link in less than two seconds with the absolute minimum number of clicks, which they've managed to achieve. That's why Wormel supports instant file streaming. Quite a unique concept. Most of the others go to the server. You then get a link and then you download from the server. Here there's an instant link that starts the stream process as soon as the recipient clicks and the file has been uploaded. There's no need to wait for your files to finishing uploading before you can copy the link and send it to your recipient. The recipient can start downloading even before the files have finished uploading. Great, great, great concept. It actually is not a concept, it's how it works. So we use super fast peer-to-peer -peer transfer to send files directly to the recipient uh, when possible. This improves speed and security, especially when transferring files over a local network like the one you just want to get a file from your phone to your computer. So if I want to send a file from my device, then it will use my LAN in the office or in your home across your Wi-Fi. It will send it across there using that ultra speed. So this is one of the great tools to communicate between your devices and your computer. Currently, I routinely would use uh, Telegram for that because Telegram has that synchronizing. But if you're busy sending a file bigger than uh, two gigabytes, 
then you're not going to be able to use Telegram because Telegram has a limit on that size, which is understandable. Um, it's a full on messaging service. So this wormhole is incredible to share big size files be between your devices at home or even across the, the web. So, OK, so yeah, they're just going through WeTransfer, Dropbox and explaining that sort of uh, phenomena there and why wormhole is, is just the next generation. So who are we? We Feroz and John, and I'm sure you can click through there and get to their GitHub pages. Feroz is the author and maintainer of WebTorrent, uh, Standard.js, and hundreds of other open source projects. The software has been downloaded 500 million times per month. Okay, so these are guys who are in the open source space and they are now making this as a viable product. This uh, sort of falls into that nice space of your open source products like your Jitsis, um, where the community are the ones that build up these things. And we no longer have to go through these corporate sort of uh, companies to do all these things. So let me show you how it works in action. I'm going to have a file to share and then I am going to open up another tab with a recipient how they will get it. So you can either drag or just select a file. Let's start off with a selecting a file and this is 77 megs so let's share that file as our kind of small file there we go look i look at this cool <laughs> effect it's showing that it's encrypting and sending if i click on preview files i can see which file i've sent i can click copy the link and i have the link already so that's how quick it is now i'm going to just open up another window Control V and just see what the recipient would get. If I had to send the link now, they would click on the link and they would wait for the link to kind of do a synchronize. Look at this here. Here's it here already. If we look on this side, it's still busy uploading, but I have access to download already. So when I click on here, it's busy doing the download on this side. Um, as soon as that synchronizes across there, there you can see it's starting to download. And there we go. Let's see. OK, so what it's done here, this is actually quite crazy. It's uploading to the server in case I need to get it off the server within the 24 hours that it holds it there. But because I'm connected now, it literally took this file and it moved it straight peer to peer across here. So I have the file fully downloaded here while it's still uploading to the server. So there's a two prong thing happening. The one is it can send it from the one device because I'm on this local area network. I'm sending it to myself. It realizes that I am connected by this same network. So it just sends it over the LAN network. And that's why that happens so quickly. But if I am now at another device and I want to get this file and I've got the link and I'm not on the same network yet, it will then go and get it off the server. The other thing is that uh, besides the app on your mobile device, you can get it here as a Windows app. So I'm going to do a download there and just show it to you. If I click on Windows, install. And this is getting me quite excited. Um, what happens here? It's opened up a, another little window. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing. This just looks like, oh wait, um, maybe, no, it's not an extension. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just see if there's a specific app that we've got installed. Let's go look down here. Okay, here's Wormhole. Okay, so if I close this off and I've clicked on get windows so I have it here this might just be a, a link to a browser so let's click here see what happens with this okay so it gives a kind of a, a sort of interface like this which is cool it, it kind of looks almost like the browser itself so that really makes it so convenient Okay, so it gives you a application that runs on your computer windows it took so quick to install that's why i was doubting whether it was an installation but it's probably related to like a chrome 
uh, Chrome backend thing. So it's working from browser to browser, browser setup. Cool. So hopefully this gets you excited. Um, you don't need to depend anymore on your retransfers and your Dropboxes. We have wormhole.app, open source, 10 gigs, powerhouse stuff. Great stuff. Uh, have a fantastic day and shalom.